What up? So I was spraying this uh, mini with the uh, HVOP from the Combat Slim. Welcome Slim Combat. Combat Slim, however you want to call it. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the HVOP. So this spray is really nice. It's the second coat on this hood. I'm going to put another coat on right now. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on the coat. The bumper is good, the bumper is covered, it's smooth. So on the bumper, I'm gonna go 18 psi. And I'm just gonna put a control coat. Just like that, nice and smooth. Then here I'm just gonna put a medium black coat. Just to smoothen things out. I wanted to try it on a hood because, you know, that way you can tell if it sprays nice or not. But uh, nice, 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 again. So far, so good. Like, the cap is so small that you would think, you know, it might not perform on a hood. But it actually does, and it's done really well. I'm using the 1.3 HVOP. And uh, for sealer, I like the HTE. But for base, the HVOP is much better. Uh, one of the things that I don't like about this gun is the trigger. The trigger is a little, it's a little harder. I mean, compared compared to the Carbonio, the uh, the Carbonio 360, the trigger is uh, harder. This almost feels like the SATA 5000 trigger that it's a little hard to pull. But other than that, this gun is really nice. It sprays base very, very, very well. And like I said, it's an affordable gun. It's a, I think it's about 300 and some dollars. And uh, you can actually get these from the Spray Gun Source. The Spray Gun Source. And they're a company in the States. And they'll be able to get you guys these. So look at that, it looks really nice. Nice and smooth. I like it. From a $350 gun or something like that. That's great. I love that. And uh, like, if you, if you're in a position where you can't afford, for example, the HDE base coat gun, the Welcome Carbonio 360 HDE base coat gun, then this is a good alternative. I don't think it performs as well as the Carbonio, of course, because the Carbonio has a nice big fan pattern. It really puts the material down. This one, you might have to just finesse it a little bit. And uh, it's just, the Carbonio makes it easier to apply the base coat gun. This one, if you kind of have to do a little bit more playing around with it. But it's still an amazing gun. I mean, that's a, a silvery gray hood, and uh, it looks great. So now we'll just do a control coat. And I also think that the Carbonio uses a little bit less material. Especially the the uh, the HD clear, the HD clear gun uses like very very little material, and I love that. It saves everybody money, right?
And that's it. Beautiful. So, <clears throat> Slim Combat HVOP. Um, very easy to use. I mean, I use it. I use it with uh, everything wide open. So this is wide open, right? Uh, like I mentioned on the HTE, you can keep turning this and it'll just click, right? So it won't like fly off on you and you'll know when it's wide open. Uh, the fluid is all the way open as well. Um, I, like, I like to, with all my welcome guns, I like to keep this flush. So the trigger and the body flush. I feel like they perform the best at that with what I'm spraying. I'm spraying PPG water base, okay? Uh, what else can I tell you about this gun? Oh, there's a, the, that's pretty easy to take off. You don't have to keep unwinding it and unwinding it. And uh, it looks nice in here, clean. There's no overspray in here. I did notice a little bit with base coat, but only with base coat, not with clear or uh, sealer um, but with only with water-based base coat sometimes I notice a little bit of buildup behind like uh, behind the cap and on the needle so just when you uh, spray some water-based laundries make sure you clean them properly make sure you clean them really well but however this gun performs amazing as you can see so I'm gonna put some clear on this and uh, I'm not gonna use this one for clear because I, I like the HDE for clear. That's my go-to clear gun. But this gun for base coat, you can't go wrong with this gun. The, the Slim Combat HVOP for base coat is amazing, obviously. And then the HDE obviously is amazing. But the HDE, I would gear that more towards sealer and primer because they do a great job with that. Anyways, I'm gonna put some clear on this. All right, here we go. Just gonna give this a quick clean. See if I can replicate a little bit of what I saw. So I'm rinsing it out really, really, really well. The reason why I keep it upside down is because I don't want any liquids to go in here. So I just kind of keep it upside down to make sure that you know, nothing gets where it's not supposed to go. And then what I'll do is I'll go like this, put the air in it, so nothing can come down. Right? Spray that out. And then should be clean. Right? Rinse it out with some more. Right? So it's nice and clean. Clean water, clean water cleaner coming out. Then when I go with the gun cleaner, you see that more stuff comes out. So that's what I'm talking about, just make sure you clean it well. Right? I don't know if you can see the camera, but so it's just a matter of cleaning it really well. You see the stuff that's coming out now? So that stuff all should have come out when I was cleaning it. Right? Okay, so I said I wasn't going to clear with this gun, but I couldn't resist. I really want to see how it sprays clear. The HDE sprayed clear really nice. Not as good as the Carbonio HDE clear. Um, This one, we'll find out. <clears throat> I'm gonna try it at. I'm gonna try it at 30. Always remember, if you're gonna use a gun for sealer, base, and clear, you make sure that you clean them properly. Okay. <clears throat> so if I use it for sealer. Clean it really well with thinners. Make sure there's nothing in the gun. Take it apart if you have to. <clears throat> Trust me, it's worth it. And then, 
if you if you use it for base, make sure that oh look at that. Much there. <clears throat> if you use it for base, make sure you take it apart, clean it really well, and then use it for clear if you have to. Okay? Very, very, very important. Don't be lazy. I'm lazy sometimes. Alright, got this at all right. Got this at 30 psi, I believe. 30, 31. Good stuff. So far, so good. Actually, laying it down really smooth. And the gun is not loud. Pretty, uh, pretty quiet actually. Pretty quiet gun. Good so far. Sweet. Let that flash off for a couple minutes. I'm using a 50/50 EC520 EC550. So far, it's looking good. Looking shiny, 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 shiny. I'm gonna put it up to 33. See how it sprays at Far is very consistent actually. So you can see I'm pretty close to the panel, probably about six inches, I would say. Yeah, I would say about six inches. With a probably 90% overlap. You know, I'm not, I don't move that much. Oh, if you didn't know, the car has spray mask, okay? The car has spray mask. Did I mention the car has spray mask? So the car's protected, okay? See that? Car has spray mask. Just in case somebody wants to uh, insult me. <laughs> Which seems to be more and more on each day, but it's okay.
All right. I'm gonna put this in bake and we'll see how it looks after. Beauty. So it makes it a little extra clear for the mini because I knew that I had to clear this job as well. But I did notice that this gun uses a little bit more clear than the HTE clear. The HTE clear is extremely efficient. So, I mean, you're gonna have some pros and you're gonna have some cons when you pay less for a gun, right? Obviously. This gun's about 350 bucks. If you're not painting that much, right? then that's great. But if you're painting like in a production shop or you're constantly painting and you're very uh, cost, cost sensitive, well, I would recommend the HC Clear, right? The Carbonial, the black one I use because you're gonna save a lot of money on clear coat in the long run, right? So that's something to think about. Put this down to 30. looking good very nice all right well you can see that obviously a few nibs here and there but you can see that this gun performs that's awesome I like it very nice used a little bit more material than the uh, HDE clear which is my go-to clear right now because it's working amazing miracles but uh there you have it the hvop looks good love it all right hopefully you enjoyed this video if not i'm sorry share it with uh some people you like share it with some people you don't like and uh i hope you enjoy it and i continue to make some videos for you guys and girls and hopefully you'll learn something and add value to your life one way or another all right Love you so much. Take care. God bless.